Greetings, family. Uh, this is Bomani Tamba, and uh, welcome to our Black Star Pan African Community uh, Conference call. And uh, today's date is uh, January 21st, and I uh, got my good brother uh, Leonard and Azebo on the call, and uh, also our good brother Darren and a few other people. So we're going to be mainly looking to uh, get updates uh, from what's going on in the community in Jahadzi. So we got one of our members living uh, on the community itself, um, uh, Leonard. And uh, Leonard is um, one of our good brothers that first built his house um, a few years ago. And uh, he is the person that's always welcoming us when uh, we get to the uh, land. Uh, so there's, uh, there's things that we need to work on as far as uh, land construction, land clearing, and also just uh, the future of the community. So definitely want to make sure we hear some feedback. And uh, greetings, uh, uh, Celia. Um, and anyone who wants to give uh, feedback as far as uh, some of the things we can do and how we can approach it, uh, literally open. So I want to make sure this is a nice and direct call. So greetings, uh, Brother Leonard. Uh, how are you? All right, let me uh, get you unmuted. Yes, uh, greetings, brother. How you feeling? Uh, uh, you're... There you go. Now, now you're unmuted. Uh, greetings, uh, how you feeling? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, so you're living on the property and just uh, want to hear more so... Um, now, uh, feedback from yourself as far as some of the things that we need to uh, do and uh, work on. Uh, some of the last things that we've been posting in the group page has been about the uh, road construction. And and one of the things uh, I reached out to a few members on is making donations for the, the, the start of the initiation of the uh, road project. And uh, we can get more people involved and uh, get more money sent. I uh, just wanted to at least get things uh, started and also wanted to get more people on the call so we can uh, talk about those things. So anyway, uh, Leonard, um, if you can just uh, give us an update as far as um, the initiation of the road project and um, how it's been coming along so far, and then um, where do we need to go from here? Okay. Um, well, so far we only collected $925. Uh, that's US. Now, I did use uh, 650 Ghana CDs in order to have the road cleared because the brush had overgrown. So I had it cleared and burned back. So what's left is 925. Um, the donations have been slow, but I think that's partly because of the holiday season. A lot of people said that they would uh, you know, do better once the year started. Um, so we're waiting, of course, to get more money before we get started anyway. But the um, other problem we've been having is with the uh, surveyor trying to get an indication of exactly where the road's at. We want to make sure that it's that we know exactly where it's at, so we don't make the uh, construction and then have to, you know, waste money because it's on somebody else's land. So we've been having a challenge getting the uh, surveyor to respond to give us an update on the amount of money it would take to. Uh, to actually make sure that the road is in the right spot. Uh, perfect. Uh, yes, I did reach out to uh, Evans and I don't know if we have someone else that uh, can do it, uh, but um, I will try them again um, uh, tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you can uh, come through. If not, then I'll talk with uh, Mohammed uh, on getting uh, one of his uh, people to assist us um, and uh, also have him do a follow-up with you know, with uh, Evans. Uh, it's just uh, unfortunate. Uh, it's just been uh, tricky with this guy with the surveys and things. So it's uh, been painful. Uh, Zebo, you got your hand up. Uh, go ahead, brother. And the, the main thing as far as um, what we, you showed on the uh, WhatsApp, uh, the road that's uh, connected to uh, Reverend uh, Bento's uh, land, uh, so far that's uh, somewhat um, workable as far as uh, getting from uh, the main street in Jahadzi uh, to the community, right? 
Yeah, that that works fine, except it's not good for heavy equipment because they didn't. Uh, they did reinforce it, but it's not reinforced to the extent where uh, big loads of rocks, gravel, and dirt could come in and out. Uh, so uh, it's been manageable, but right now the construction has been a little slow. So through the holidays, uh, so we've been managing and it's been working out okay. Uh, so what do you think uh, once the uh, rainy season hit, uh, will it uh, will the road uh, sustain itself or will it uh, be a little challenge uh, since it's basically... Uh, his road, no. His road wouldn't... I don't believe it would stand up to a, a truckload of gravel or a truckload of uh, heavy dirt. It may or may not, but he says he, he didn't want us to use it for that purpose because he's not sure it would actually hold up. They didn't really build it with that in mind. Uh, uh, so about, I'm not yeah, sure. All right, uh, so not um, can't really handle heavy loads. What about the rainy season? Uh, uh, can it uh, can it uh, hold up uh, from all the heavy rain now? Or does it look like a road that will be washed away? Uh, well, every year usually the road is flooded, so we wouldn't be able to use it during the heavy rainy season uh, for heavy equipment. There's no way. Um, so I'm believing that before then we can get something done. Um, I know that's only about two, three months or so, uh, but I was hoping we could possibly uh, check on the grant that Celia was talking about. I don't know how long it would take them to okay a grant, even if they uh, allowed us to do it. But if we could get that money, that would be helpful to go ahead and get started on it. And perfect. And uh, yes, and then, you know, since it's after the uh, busy season, uh, the goal is to just reach out to other members and then uh, just uh, put what we can put together and also uh, get a sent so we can get uh, certain things cleared up. Because um, another thing is uh, just keeping up with the overgrown uh, land. Um, I was also trying to reach out to Evans to get a good deal on the bulldozer so we can just, you know, do some more um, uh, good clearing. Uh, the the cut and burn is not bad, uh, but the bulldozer is just uh, very efficient. And also, uh, we do have uh, Celia on the uh, line, uh, so we can just talk directly, uh, possibly about that grant. And uh, more important, when we talk about grants, uh, what do we have to do and things like that. So those are things that I need to know. So I can put my best effort into working with it. Uh, Celia, can you um, unmute yourself? Yes. Hi, everybody. Uh, green sister, oh, how are you? Thanks. For I'm the, great. The uh, assistant, um, uh, Leonard and uh, Azibo did tell me that um, you had a good plan for us. So I wanted you to share that plan and we can just get into details on it. Okay. So the African Future Pledge is about global unity to raise capital to support our people, build trade schools, to create jobs for our people, to build freedom schools. They have a, a freedom school in Kenya, the first freedom school that are um, teaching our kids from kindergarten how to, um, to they're teaching them to uh, be more self-sufficient, to learn about technology and to just bring them up to speed with the world, what's going on in the world. And it, it's also about creating a financial institute to give business loans, and to support each other in America and in Africa for Black Americans and Africans and uh, African Americans here in America and in Africa. So I've been told that it can take anywhere. Now the website just went public and I've been told that it can take anywhere from six months to four years for capital to start coming in. So right now, um, it's just a few of us who have taken the pledge and and we're just starting out. So there's only like $100 in the African Future Pledge bank account right now. Um, I've been told it can take anywhere from six months to four years. So right now, we have hired a social media manager to get the word out about the African Future Pledge. And we're, we're trying to figure out when to start reaching out 
to leaders like um, Ari, uh, Arakana, Chiambori Kwao, um, PLO Lumumba, and, um, and we're also following President Ibrahim Traore because they're all on the same page about global unity and Pan-Africanism. So the idea for the pledge came because other nationalities who have gone through some type of Holocaust, this is what they have done to build their people up economically. And so this is what the African Future Pledge is about. It's for African people by Black, by African people. And whatever you can afford to donate on a regular basis because our situation is different from other nationalities. So we're starting right now, we're on the bottom of the economic totem pole, so to, so to say. And our future doesn't look good if we don't do something drastic. And the only way that we can see that we can build ourselves up and build capital to do the things that we need for black people is to come together and raising capital together. And even if you can only afford like a dollar a week or a dollar a month, whatever it is that you can afford taking the pledge and pledging regular money. For example, there's 45, there's over 45,000 African-Americans in America, right? So if 45,000 of us take the pledge to just, just commit $1 a week, that's 45,000 every week that we would have for our people so that we can give ourselves business loans, we can create jobs, we can build our own schools, and we can take care of ourselves, our own people, because nobody else is going to do it but us. And right now, we're at the point where we have to do something drastic, so... You know, the website just opened up. It's going to take a little bit of time, but everyone that I have spoken to about it thinks it's a very good idea and that, you know, this is something that we can do. So it's just getting out there. It's going to take some time. Um, the donation, my donations are going to come through the African Future Pledge because I'm pledging and because I've already taken the pledge, of course. And so... $100 is coming out of the African Future Pledge to um, people with boots on the ground in Ghana. Hmm. So as the funds grow, you guys who are there building the bridge, you know, from America back to Africa, you're on, you're on the website and you're first on the top of the list of getting the donations that come in. So as soon as they come in, you know, then we'll be sending out how, how much we can whenever we can. But we just don't know how long it's going to take for fund fundings to start really coming in. Okay. All right. Uh, Celia, appreciate uh, the um, explanation and clarity. So, uh, uh, Azibo is looking for something that is more close to, um, and Azibo, as soon as you can talk, just uh, go ahead and talk. Um, I'm clicking on you to unmute. So basically what we have to work on is um, some other options. Uh, okay. I agree with uh, Baba Azibo. Greetings, brother. How are you? All right. Pretty good. How are you? Uh, doing well. Uh, just uh, want to hear some uh, updates uh, from you for our group members so we can uh, be more focused uh, this year. Uh, let me explain uh, that uh, that Reverend uh, Bento Road is not, not going to be efficient. So um, looking to see what options uh, we have on the table. So Celia was um, was honest in explaining that uh, she's uh, working on something, but uh, we need to get something else also going. So based on other options, um, I am uh, open to doing what I need to do. Uh, as far as uh, you know, getting paperwork and organizing certain things together? Well, the, uh, the, the road situation is, uh, we, we, we have been waiting on data from, from Evans 
and Evans gave the uh, project to his friend. His friend has been up at Cape Coast handling the project. Uh, I talked to him a few weeks ago, and uh, he said that he he wanted uh, to do the uh, do the project for uh, Garvey Road, but uh, he 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 wasn't going to release any information, uh, any data that he collected for the construction of the road until. Uh, he signs a contract to sign. He, he wanted to make sure that he was going to get paid for the for the information that he, he had already collected. Uh, that's that's what this this uh, this is what uh, Evans was trying to explain to me that uh, he he will assist in helping his friend uh, coordinate. Uh, the uh, materials, labor, and equipment. Um, but uh, we, we, we may, may and the letter had already had connections with uh, uh, Bento's role, Reverend Bento's role. We still, we still have the reason. We still have the uh, equipment and, and the people that that want that. Uh, did his role. We we really want to get started because it's, he he did in two weeks what we what we have been trying to do in two years. So we really want to get started on this, this thing. You know, um, the fund the funding we we uh, brother brother Leonard was waiting waiting on the. Uh, Funding to come through, but uh, we have a, we have a little bit of money to get started, and I I, I wanted to go ahead and get started even with the, the small amount of money that we had. Uh yes, and we can get some more money on top of that. Uh, the main thing, um, we don't want to just get things started and having to redo it and just waste our resources. But uh, more money can come in. Uh, the main thing is this. Uh, we need a game plan, so that's uh, been the uh, seem to be the holdup. Uh, so, yeah. um, you know, we can't sit around and wait for one person because uh, he's been delaying us since we started this uh, whole project and caused us to lose business and lose people. So, yeah. I'll just talk with our uh, Mohammed and um, we'll get someone else uh, because this has been too challenging. I'm looking at my message uh, to him. So all of us basically have been, been calling him and texting him, and you get little to no response. Um, but that's uh, the unfortunate situation that uh, we deal with some of our people there in uh, Ghana that just don't see the vision. And even when getting paid, uh, it's very difficult. So I don't know if they're trying to orchestrate something to where things are very uh, expensive or they just give us this expensive uh, uh, plan. But um, if, he's, uh, you know, if he's serious, he needs to share it with you so you can share it with the rest of us so we can take a look at it. And then, you know, we can sign off and we can just agree to it and then uh, as far as the additional cash flow that can uh, you know come in and work out, yeah, the, that's basically the whole of is the uh, is the cash flow. We have all the elements uh, that that we need. Uh, you know, um, brother Leonard has. No, but I mean, if he doesn't have the the plans to get started, I mean, or you now we can't go forward from there. What I'm saying to you is that. As far as getting additional cash flow and getting things going, we can get that done. And um, it's just all about uh, just reaching out to different members and we're just putting what we have to put down and uh, make it work. But that part has to be clear because, uh, and then hopefully Nana Haiti, I mean, Nana Haiti uh, told us from the beginning that everything is good with the road and we can just make it work. But we still need to do it to where it's not, you know, cutting into anybody's property and, you know, causing any issues. Right. That's what that's what me and uh, Wellbeck had talked about. Uh, I talked to Wellbeck yesterday, and uh, he he basically was saying that uh, he was going to talk to Don and Haiti to try and find a, another uh, another surveyor. He said he was pretty sure that that Nana Haiti had had another surveyor, and he was going to check into it. So I got to check back with him. 
and see what what he he has uh, uh, connected with, and then uh, I, I can get back with with you and uh, Brother Leonard to uh, confirm whether or not he he's going to bring this guy on board. You know, he he, he said not like Haiti. Had, pretty sure not like Haiti had another uh, surveyor. But uh, I, I told him, I said, well, is there any other possibility besides going to Nana Haiti for a surveyor? You know, but he, he was saying that uh, Nana Haiti is still selling land out here. So uh, he, 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 has, he has to have some type of surveyor to exactly. uh, cut the plots for the people that want to buy, buy land. Exactly. Yeah. But also working with Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed has been working with uh, the the people in the Lands Commission. So uh, that's always another great option is to use uh, the surveys that they have there. Uh, they seem to be more about their business than anything else. So, right. Uh, yes. Uh, so we have to move on that. And uh, before I hear from some other people. Also, Zebo, fill us in on anything that we need to know about what's going on in the uh, town, in the community. And also, you showed us a uh, brick machine. So uh, just give us your vision and uh, as far as what those things uh, can do. Uh, yeah, I grew that's, that's willing to do the bricks, you know, based on the, the amount of pay or what, they, what they're going to get paid. Um, and um, uh, all, we, all we need is... People to dig the uh, trenches, and, and we need a, we need a surveyor to to cut the uh, the length uh, of uh, the, the perimeter of, of the of the entire fifteen uh, acres, and and uh, specify where the uh, emergency uh, exit and entrance is going to be, and where the uh, main gate is going to is going to start, but but. Overall, we, we need uh, the the diggers to to dig the trenches so that so that the foundation of the uh, wall can be made. The brick making machine was was loaned to me by by a neighbor, you know. So uh, we we have to use of that until we can get our own uh, machine. But we can make we can make bricks right right on the uh, property. On, on the uh, 15 acres, and uh, also we can use it as a residual income for for other, for other projects that we, we might want to do. Uh, we can sell bricks to the uh, builders. They don't have to go and get to buy the bricks. We can make them right there on, on the spot, you know. So uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bricks are are an asset for for the overall project and the whole overall development site. So uh, that's that's one one element that would be a cheaper to to make the bricks there. The only thing that we would probably need is funding for the cement and the uh, sand and the uh, the salaries of you know, the the pay the pay rate for the uh, for the labor is just gonna cut the uh, trenches for the foundation for the wall for the wall itself. So uh, you know that's that's what's going on with that. Uh, you know my my project my own personal project Zebo's cuisine. I'm uh, having problems with uh, trying to find a, a cook for the uh, for the restaurant, and uh, I'm, I'm still I'm still moving forward with uh, my product that that I'm producing, which is uh, the Dream Cream Ice Cream uh, product. Uh, I'm, I'm designing a, a cover for that, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm completing the uh, business plan for the. Uh, for the uh, the ice cream, the Dream Ice Cream Company, I haven't I haven't I haven't moved in on that yet because I'm still developing the uh, the uh, restaurant itself. So uh, 
that's that's what's going on with that. Um, um, there's a few other things that I'm that I'm trying to do, but basically, I, I don't want to pile my plate up too too tough. You know, I don't want to do too many things at one time. But there's three three different elements that I'm dealing with, which is the uh, restaurant and uh, the dream uh, ice cream company and the uh, brick, the bricks, uh, the brick making uh, machine, uh, you know, trying to get a crew together for that. And also there, there's one other thing that I didn't mention was, was uh, security. Uh, Charles, Charles called me uh, the uh, other day, said that he would be, he, he, he wanted to be, be a part of the, uh, the group for, for the uh, security. You know, uh, I can't it, 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 it's serious because we can't keep playing games with people. I mean, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I ask. Security consistently twenty uh, you know, around the clock. So if we can get two or three people, you know, the money's there to pay them. Um, right. So this. Yeah, the, that's what I told him. That's what I told him. He'd have to be serious. He, he said he was, he'd been trying to bury his mother and uh, he didn't like the way his mother had a, a couple of them. And he didn't like the way the uh, people that were in charge of the farm was running the uh, cocoa farm. So, uh, and uh, he said he, he, he was out in the bush, so he couldn't call the reception out there where where he was wasn't that great. So, uh, you know, yeah, I'm uh, hoping this is not a bunch of reasons and excuses, uh, because uh, we just need yeah. because. It's just consistently the same thing dealing with, dealing with uh, these things in Ghana, and it's just like painful, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was his excuse for not not calling. I told him he should have been calling. We should, we need to be in communication more, you know. Uh, I also uh, talked to uh, I talked to the the commander, the top commander over at the uh, police station. His name was uh his name is Abraham, Commander Abraham. I talked to him about getting getting weapons for for our security company. You know, for the security. Uh, we're gonna start out if possible when he shows up. He said he should be here by the end of the month, by the end of this month. But uh, I've been calling him. Uh, since I talked to him, he, he hasn't been picking up. So well, we have to, we just it's just like one of those wait and see moments, you know. And those are the moments that are, that I hate those wait and see moments. You know? I want to be definite about the people that I'm dealing with, you know. And it's been iffy with all of them. Basically, we're dealing with Ghanaians. It's not. It's not a sure thing because they they don't have the vision. They don't. They're not, they're like right now type of people, you know, they, they're like, uh, they don't have a revolutionary mindset. They don't have a Pan-African mindset. They don't have a revolutionary mindset. So they're not, they're not, they're not visionaries. And uh, they, 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 it's like, they want to get paid to, so that they can feed their family. And it's not like, they're looking at things that are happening uh, years. From now. They're looking at like today and tomorrow. That's that's the only thing that they're worried about: feeding their families. And uh, that's the only way we can do it. You know, they they don't they don't worry about what's happening in the far future. You know. And uh, that's what I've been doing. It's, it's a hassle dealing with people like that, you know. And uh, but you—that's that's the only way you can deal with. It. You show them money, they love it. You show them money, that's it. So, and then some of them, some of them, getting paid to do something, and they don't even show up to get paid. They don't even show. They come up like weeks later and ask them for their pay, you know, stuff like that. That's what we're dealing with, you know. So, 
you know, uh, security, uh, dealing with the bricks, making making these uh, these cement blocks, the restaurant, and, and the uh, ice cream company. I'm dealing with all of this. this trying to, try to do the maintenance on, on this office and stuff like that. So, uh, that that's that's my whole whole plate. Hopefully, I can get a lot of this stuff accomplished. You know, basically, that's what I'm saying. Making ice cream and interviewing cooks. They don't, they don't even show up. The cooks don't <laughs> even show up. You know, I, I tell them that, that, you know, that the, I can raise the pay if you know we we'll be, we'll be they, they don't want to hear that if, if you if you're not paying the right amount that they expect to get paid they're not going to show up you know they're not going to show up that's just all that's the way to get so i'm i'm with i cook i got the lady next door teaching me how to how to make my food teaching me how to make uh, open stew and stuff like that. If I had to cook myself, then I would do that. You know, but I, I'm determined to make this thing work. You know, you know, uh, I'm determined to make this restaurant work. But, uh, I've been having a lot of people. They, they love my ice cream, so I've been having a lot of people come in for that. And uh, a few people coming in asking me when am I going to open. I say when I when I get a cook, uh, I'll be able to open, be able to open the restaurant. You know, a few things that I got to get as far as the restaurant, like chairs and uh, a few uh, pots and a few more things like that. You know, bowls and plates. And stuff. That, that's that's <laughs> that's not a priority as far as getting a. a Cook that's able to be committed uh, and stay stay with me. You know, once I get that cook, then I can go ahead on and get the rest of the stuff I need. You know? So, so uh, you know, I had a problem trying to get money. So what what was uh, Sister Sister Celia uh, saying? I was saying that as as money comes in, whatever money comes in, then I'll be sending what can be sent to you guys in Ghana through Bomani. Okay. 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 Um, I mean, I mean, there was a research on uh, trying to get philanthropists uh, and uh, trying to get uh, investors for this for this. Uh, Jahazi area. There's a lot of people coming coming out here now. Uh, this 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 area is is going through a building boom. People are coming back uh, and uh, starting on their buildings. You know, people have a, they have a thing here when they start they start a construction on a building and then they'll stop. They'll stop building. Uh, I couldn't figure out the reason why, so I started asking questions, and they they were saying the people were saying that because they run out of money or something. You know, I, I say, well, you know, don't they have a budget or something that, from you know, don't they make projections and that they go through different stages as far as the building? Uh, it, it can't be like every building that's being built, the people stop. They stop building. I mean, uh, what is this? I mean, I never heard of this stuff. And then, and then uh, now that I think of it, I, I go throughout uh, Accra and Ghana. Throughout Ghana, it's the same way. You got unfinished buildings all over the place. You know, people just don't finish what they start. You know, I'm not. I'm not used to that. 
people, people were surprised when I started started the restaurant, started doing construction on the restaurant. And basically for a long time, it was just me doing it. And uh, people were walking by me and just waving and smiling and stuff. But I had one guy come up to me and saying that, hey man, I didn't think you was gonna finish. I didn't think you were gonna finish it. I said, no man, it, it ain't like that, you know. It's, I'll finish it. When, once I start something, I like I like to finish it. I don't like to leave nothing undone. You know, that's that's just the way. That's what I'm used to. You know, and, and I, it's just it's just I, I just can't get used to. You know, why don't the people finish the buildings? You know, and uh, that's what's going on now. People, people are coming here. And they're they're building new building, new new construction is happening, and people are starting to finish their buildings. I, I guess you know there's buildings that, that have been half finished for, since I've been here. Now people are starting to put roofs on on it and starting to finish it up. You know, so you know that that was. Okay. So, uh, I just Zebo appreciate the uh, updates. Uh, let's uh, make sure we just get to hear back from other people. So, uh, Darren, you've been uh, patiently uh, listening. Um, uh, just want to get some feedback from you and anything that you can interject into and also recommend. Uh, we're open to the, we're just having an open conversation about the things that we need to right. work on our handle. Well, first thing I can say, if you could a Zebo get closer to wherever the microphone is, because you're going in and out. So a lot of that I didn't catch, but um, yeah, I definitely okay. appreciate the update. Um, I think I heard uh, Miss Celia saying something about um, reaching out to other organizations, AD, such as ADDI, Dr. Aracana. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm yes. I'm affiliated with the um the North Carolina chapter. I'm actually working with the North Carolina chapter chair of ADDI, and we have meetings on the first Sunday of every month. That would be something I'd be interested in coordinating as well to make people aware of the Black Star Pan African community and see how we can kind of combine um the groups, so to speak, to kind of give them that information. This is what's taking place. It's the North Carolina chapter is relatively new, so we're kind of building our list. What I'm doing is basically running ads on Facebook to attract people to the Pan-African mindset and to um, get them over to the meeting. So yeah, I'd be more than um, happy to kind of coordinate with you on that to see if I can drive some of the, that traffic over to uh, the Black Star Pan-African community and see if we can get mm. people on board to invest and become more aware of what's taking place. Right, and I, I, we we need some type of hub, some type of Pan African hub to bring all of these groups together under one hub. You see what I'm saying? That's what we need. And uh, as far as planning and putting together some type of organizational structure, would be would be great if we could. Use it. Yeah, because even Dr. Aracana's all of these groups. Yeah, even Dr. Aracana's group, the main chapter, um, is still a work in progress as well. Um, if you go to the site, there's chapters all over the world, and everybody kind of does their part. I was at an event at uh, Howard University uh, last year, um, and it wasn't even that many people at the event, but it's still. A lot of this is still a work in progress. Um, so they have to have one hub right now. I don't know if that's going to take place. I think it's we can just kind of, because a lot of times people don't know what's going on. I meet people all the time that don't know anything about Dr. Aracana. Um, right. And a lot of the things that are taking place on the continent, you see a lot of the content creators on YouTube profiling different things that are taking place. Um, but yeah, it's still <laughs> kind of a, a grassroots thing at this point. Right, right, right. 
But it's, it's, it seems as if uh, if uh, we can get to get to that group's attention, um, he, she's working with a uh, philanthropist. Uh, I think his name is Kwame. He's running for the uh, president of uh, Ghana. Uh, yeah. He can get to that attention. Yeah, that you're talking about the guy that built all of the high rises in Ghana, um, Freedom Jacob Caesar. Yeah, yeah, his name is, his name is Kwame. Yeah, Kwame Beriako. Yeah, Cheddar. Yeah, Cheddar. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of movement taking place. Um, the two brothers that have the top podcasts in the um the U.S. right now, Earn Your Leisure E Y L, they actually uh did a podcast with uh Web Nation. And they actually held, they hold these investment um, events around the world, actually. They did one in London and the last one they did in Ghana. Are you aware of that, Bomani? You're, you're muted. Uh, yes, I'm aware of that, uh, Earn Your Leisure. I've uh, heard about them and um, I've seen one or two of their shows. And okay. I saw one of the presentation that was in uh, Ghana. So that's a good uh, start, you know, we need some, you know, yeah. us, uh, media outlets. Uh, to build more momentum, yeah. Discuss what we're doing because um, it's it's still a lot of people that's just uh, confused about Pan Africanism and confused about these things, and I don't know why they're so confused because uh, we have to make a move. We can't just uh, be sitting ducks and just everybody else, all other nations and races of people are making these moves. You know, when you go to Africa, you see different races and nations of people, and you know they have that connection back to their homeland. And uh, also, they're also represented by our country. So that's the advantages that they have. So, you know, we have to figure out our own connections and, you know. Yeah, that's one of the main thing that uh, Dr. Arakana spoke about on one of the um, part, the, one of the webinars that we had last year. She said, the Germans, the French, when they provide these resources for them to come back, to not come back, but to go to Africa, they have so many resources available, even down to like, if the people that want to come to Africa, if they have like a boy and a girl of certain ages, they can connect them with a German family or a French family that they can uh, coordinate with that has that same um, family. And then a, a German hotel owner. And just it's just a whole line of resources that they have available. And that's kind of her vision to provide that for us, to have those resources available. That's it, brother. Appreciate the update. That uh, works. So that's what we have to do, family. Do more networking. Um, brother uh, Steve, um, uh, Madison, uh, your line is unmuted. Uh, let us know if you want to share some uh, input on, or if you have some uh, ideas on some of the things that we can do to move forward with some of the projects that we need to move forward uh, in Jihad. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the, 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 my, my thing is that uh, the, the road thing uh, that we've been talking about, right? Um, like um, I mean, I'm 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 looking from my end. I'm seeing is like uh, I just um, I think I think you just gotta get a more concrete plan as far as um, as far as where the world starts, where it's gonna end, and 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 like like we need we need to me like there there needs to be some kind of like um, like an engineer or whatever it is to to say that this is what it is. This is what's gonna take to get done and. So from my end, it's like so. It's a, there's, a, there's a clear vision of, of of what we're doing because from what from what I like from reading and from what I can see right now, all, all I'm hearing is that okay, we need this much and this much. Uh, everybody has to contribute this much, but then where does that get us? And is that going to get us from point A to point B, uh, from start to finish, and 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 we get what we're looking for? Like I'm still a little confused about that, and I'm I'm, I'm unsure about that. Yes, uh, Zebo, give us some clarity. Um, you're leading this uh, road project um, along with uh, Leonard. Uh, so um, also, Steve, if you have any physical direct questions, um, uh, but, uh, guy, uh, but uh, you know, both of you heard him. Uh, if you can just give some clarity to uh, the road project. At, are you, are you at the, at the moment. Uh, go ahead, Leonard. Yeah. What's that? Uh, the brother wants some kind of clarity as far as uh, the road project. Okay. Well, basically, 
the idea was everybody who owned the plot provide $200, that would give us $10,000. But the problem is we're not getting the 200 per plot. We're barely getting 200 per person. So if a person has three plots, that's six, that would be $600. At that rate, at 200 per plot, since we have 50 plots, then that would put us at 10,000 US dollars, which would be enough to do what we have to do based on the figures that uh, Bentle used. He paid around 125,000 uh, Ghana CDs to get what he did done. So our project is smaller than his. So we should be able to get it done for eight to 10,000 US dollars. But that would take everybody doing 200 per plot. So uh, I was telling everybody right now, we only have $925 so far. So I know it's through the holiday season and it's slow and I'm sure it'll pick up. But uh, to me, it doesn't make sense to really start until you really got at least half the money or three fourths of the money. Because if you right. start and then rainy season comes, it's going to wash out what you started and that's been a waste. So you don't right. want to do that. That's right. Well, appreciate the clarity, Alan. And so, and what uh, my game plan is, I have all of the uh, contact numbers here. I just have to make time to just um, physically call everyone because that's what you have to do sometimes. Uh, physically call everyone and text them and uh, let them know uh, we need to get this thing going. So, and then we just get everyone individually to send it to you like we've been sending. And um, then, you know, we'll, we can see what else we can uh, add. Um, so um, we should be able to get to half our uh, Leonard uh, sometime uh, next month. It just The main thing is just aggressively calling everyone, let them know that uh, we're working on this. We've been working on it. And now that uh, it's the beginning of the year, let's uh, pick up the momentum. Uh, so things like that has to be done. So while you and Aziba work on things on the ground, I can do that here. I make those calls and make those reach out and updates and send those uh, email. And um, we should be able to get more than half uh, very soon. And the next thing is... Uh, is the you know the the road layout, uh, Steve? Um, in order for us to move forward on um, actually doing certain roads and things, uh, it requires a survey. So the survey that did uh, a lot of our work, I don't know if he's being difficult, uh, but um, yeah, we're still waiting for him to give us the paperwork so we can be clear about what we need so we can also get started. So it's a few things that need to happen at the same time. Uh, so. I'll be coordinating working on both of them, um, the calling off the individuals and uh, the, the replacement of the surveyor uh, with another one if we can't get these um, these guys to just work uh, and organize with us. So unfortunately, we should just probably expect this from Evans. Uh, he's been doing this for a while, delaying us and causing <laughs> us our issues. Uh, so that's uh, one of the big problems, uh, Steve, um, is um, it's hard to find good quality people that's going to deliver and do the work and cause us not to lose money because that's been one of the situations, you know, we tend to lose lots of money from uh, this, um, the foolishness that goes on in the country. And that, and that's why, you know, we have to stick together and work together on this project uh, because other people that are involved, that's not uh, really down with us. They just see everything as this a way for them to just shake us down or just get access to cash. Uh, so, but uh, that's uh, my game plan to make the uh, road project work and, then we also have to look into additional uh, financial resources to get other things going. So for those who can help with grants or certain things, uh, we just always tell everyone, uh, all hands on deck and just looking for different individuals to join us. Any parts of what they can work on? So also, uh, Steve, let me know if that's uh, what Leonard explained uh, clears it up. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty much what I, what I, what I've understood up to this point anyway, but uh, I mean, I, I understand what I, I, I understand what, what's uh, like, what's being said here, just that it just, um, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking for too much at this point in time. I mean, I understand how, how, how things move kind of a little slow on that side there. So, you know, I understand that part too, you know what I mean? But, but, um, but, um, Oh, but what, what I'm going to do still, I'm going to send, um, I'm going to send, uh, I'm going to send, uh, um, the, the, the money to, towards you as far as, as far as, um, 
because I got a plot. So I'm gonna send I'm gonna send um a plot's worth of um of uh, funds towards you, and then and then maybe you can just direct it um to towards the project. Uh yes, yeah, so what you can do uh, uh we've been just getting everyone to use SendWave and send to Leonard uh, directly, and uh, just trying to just get different people to work on different things. Um so, uh that's the, uh, and then um. I'll use some of the money that we have to uh, send to Leonard to where we top it off to where we can at least get to half. So uh, that will work out uh, from uh, from you, brother. So appreciate uh, you doing that. And anyone else that's listening, that's uh, what we're looking to uh, work out. And those are the things that we've been posting and communicating with in the group page. And appreciate you, Leonard and uh, Zebo, for the updates on the roads and all of the highlights and things like that. So they're on the ground. So they've been sharing what they can share. And... Um, and you know, as he was always looking for different ways, he mentioned about the um, you know, about the uh, the block machine that he has. So that's another way uh, we can also start working on getting the um, you know, the walls up. Uh, so unfortunately, things are not moving as fast as we wanted to move. But the good thing is that we have momentum, and we just keep on working on it. And uh, we just have to honestly, we have to just reach out to our other members and tell them that. Uh, you know, join us in the movement for this. I know everyone have their lives going on and things that they're committed to and, and certain things, uh, but uh, we just need some of their energy or some of everyone's energy to put towards this. And this is one project that we can just, you know, all work together and get done. And then once we move from this project, then we can move to another project and just keep it going like that little by little, get it done. So going to put more momentum into this, um, reaching out to more of us so we can just have certain conversations because... Sometimes um not enough people join the our group call. Uh, I'd like to say something, Omani, please. Sure, go ahead. Absolutely. Uh whoever sends donations, make sure you notify me so that I can double check to make sure it's there and verify it with you. Please. Uh that's very important. Absolutely. And we just uh, remind everyone on the group page also. Um, but the good thing is uh initial you know the initial sending of money uh, has started and let me see if I um, just want to get to response back I have uh, two people uh, Charles uh, Mickens uh, if you want to unmute yourself give any feedback and then we have another person at uh, phone number 285 and the person at 285 if you can give me a name and I'll just um, change the name on the screen I had phone number ending in five two two one. Uh greetings uh Charles. Uh greetings, brother. How are you? I'm doing good, man. How you so? All uh, right, doing well. I uh, just reaching out to you. How is your um how is your the walls coming up on uh your property? Oh, it's all surrounded now. I just gotta get my my uh the entrance gate. Yeah, the gate, yeah. In the in the light, in the light Uh what you saying? Yeah. Huh? What you say, Bomani? No, Zebo said something while you were talking. Oh, okay. The lighting, he's got, he's got an uh, interest away with the post. And then he's got a wire to do his so Okay, so Charles, you have, um, you, have, um, you have lights on the property. You have your solar lights and everything. And the walls are up. You just need to do the gates. All right. So uh, that's a good start. Yeah, and I started... Uh... I sent one payment to Leonard, and I'll be getting more to him. So, uh, to get that taken care of, and hopefully, I'll be there in March. All right, well, perfect. That's a good start. Uh, so, Leonard, uh, we're going to build up the momentum. It's a lot of times we just have to just communicate with other members and just uh, really just uh, fill them in. Uh, so, that's one thing that we can literally all work together on and get that done. And I'm telling you, <laughs> it will build more energy for us to do other things. And uh, let this just be a year of just us, uh, just, just staying committed and just uh, getting more done this year. Um, the unfortunate thing I will say about the first four years, it was just all doing the coronavirus. I'm still like thankful that we got this far because it, we could have been further back. Uh, so now that things are opening and more, you know, we can just uh, be more committed to this, making more progress and just helping each other out with feedback and then uh, working with each other on this, the things that we need to do. And then the supporting more what uh, Zebo and Leonard is doing on the ground. Uh, 
and that way we can just um, create a path for other people to start, you know, working their way to living on the land. Another thing I wanted to find out is um, uh, there should be a few few new um, projects, a few new uh, homes being built. So I just want to make sure those are coming up uh, well. And Azib, I'm sure you probably walked around the property recently. How is everything looking with the exception of this? You know, what was uh, that? Everything, everything is looking pretty good. Uh, it's just we got a lot of overflow. Uh, we, we need to uh, redefine the, uh, the roads uh, that make up the uh, encompasses the plots themselves. Uh, we need to, because of uh, a lot of trucks and different things that were. Uh, on the area, the, the area uh, that it disrupted a lot, a lot of the markers. Uh, the uh, the uh, what what is that plot twenty seven? I think it was plot twenty seven. Um, uh, well, we 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 got to, we got to put up some more. Uh, yes, I'm going to keep me posted with that because uh, it's something that I want to make sure that uh, they're up. Um, that's why I made sure that we ordered a whole bunch of them so we can replace pillars. That way we can keep the um, you know, the foundation of just how the land was originally laid out. Unfortunately, when you yeah. have people clearing the land, uh, they're not thinking about nothing but just trying to make some quick money so they damage our pillars. Yeah. That's why we right. do we just have to literally start having honestly supervision for everything that we do. Um, and I know we're limited in numbers, uh, but that's one of the things that we have to just start doing more so because uh, yeah, you have to micromanage. Yeah, I mean, micromanage. You know, those are to clear land. Next thing you know, you're paying more money because things are damaged on the land. So you know, these are the struggles that we have to just uh, keep uh, working out. Um, that's why this right. day when we have right. more here on the land and we can just get more things done in this we can just split up the responsibilities yeah but for now we'll work with what we have uh phil Sina, you just uh came in brother greetings uh welcome to uh you know, welcome to the uh, conference call for black star pan-african community hopefully you can uh, hear us and um when you're ready you can unmute yourself and uh, you can just give us some feedback and uh, let us know about some things that we can uh do to move forward with the um, road project and also other basic things that we need to uh, work on. And also, um, um, while well, I'm waiting for Pilsen to unmute himself, uh, Baba Zibo, uh, we talked about uh, Harry, um, uh, Brother Harry. Um, have you uh, heard from him? Uh, he's telling us about some of the projects that are coming into Ghana that we can tap into. Uh, he especially, I mentioned one about with uh, Microsoft. Yeah. Uh... He was telling me about Microsoft. He mentioned Google also. Ah, uh, yes, Microsoft and Google. He was saying that we could tap into that. You know, we have to be a little, little bit more advanced as far as building structures are concerned. Um, if if we were to bring Google or Microsoft to this area. We, we, we have to be a little bit more developed because, it, you know, yeah, I don't know whether or not they're going to build the buildings or we're going to build, build them or, or what, you know. My idea was to, uh, you know, put together some type of uh, education center. You, you uh, have the idea of business. In fact, you got a demarcation as far as where the business center is supposed to go. So, uh, you know. Yeah, those are that, also uh, need um, evidence to change um, on the um, the actual movements because he changed it on the uh, site uh, layout. But uh, once yeah. we clear all that uh, land right there, we can, hopefully I can get him back there to, I'll do my best to convince him to come back to, because, you know, since he started all these things, I, you know, I just really need him to help us uh, finish up. Yeah, and, and uh... The uh, contractor that's doing his his uh, structure, his building, is uh, looking for for other clients from this this thing from our group. And uh, he what he what he uh, wanted to do is uh, 
is uh, what, what we wanted to do is make a video uh, sort of like getting people to to do uh, work with the willing to work with the black stuff. But as as uh, as far as, as, far as uh, Brother Harriet is concerned, Harry is concerned. Um, I haven't heard from him in two two months. Ago. But that that's what he was working on. He's working on Microsoft and uh, Google, trying to get them to come. I think he said that they were coming to our crowd. And then it might be a possibility, but yeah, that's uh, yeah, that, that was uh, that was a, a sure thing there, yeah, so yeah. Trying to talk with us about so, um, next time we have a call, uh, we can hear more from him, uh, but, right? Uh, so yes, he's just basically telling us to open up to the future for all the technology, um, opportunities that are coming in Ghana, so um, right to hear his uh, game plan so we can uh, work with him. And so, and as other people come online and they have good game plans, uh, you know, some of us just work with them and we figure things out. Uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, uh, exhibition everywhere, uh, the whole setback of the coronavirus is not really dear as it uh, was before. So let's uh, try to just um, move forward uh, with progress. And this, uh, for anyone else that's listening, if you want to call and reach out uh, for us to work on things, um, uh, let me know. Trying to work on things out here with my uh, partners, uh, so we can get basically additional assistant uh, to develop this community and things like that. Um, right now, we have enough people, but uh, we need to also get some other people that can provide certain level of leadership or expertise based on their experience. So that's uh, those are the main things that I definitely want us to at least talk about. Uh, we can definitely resume or connect back, you know, even in two weeks. Uh, but before we even close, I uh, just wanted to see if anyone else have anything to share or, and then um, anyone else can always uh, post anything on the uh, group platform just to um, give us some ideas and some things that we can work on because uh, we just really depend on different people to basically just work with us. Um, the few of us that's working on certain things, there's only so much uh, we can uh, do. So yes, family, uh, let's um, give some uh, final feedback before we close. And then I'll get the uh, recording to the uh, group page. Um, and most of what we talked about uh, was directly to the point. So that should work for them. Uh, uh, I would like to encourage our membership to work on uh, work with uh, ADDI and uh, try and get the, uh, the attention of uh, he said, well, one, one brother said that he was running for president. The other brother said that he wasn't. But from the videos, uh, he's, he's campaigning. Basically, it sounds like he's campaigning. He, he's running uh, against an incumbent, which is supposed to take the place of uh, Kufu Ado. You know, I've been hearing that the brother is pretty down to earth and he, he's looking for like minds to work with. And he seems a uh, pan Africanist, you know. He, he, that's his, his platform is pan Africanist. So, he's um, trying to get his attention so that uh, maybe we can, we can uh, have some type of dialogue. As far as uh, his brother is concerned, and basically get some uh, get some money, get some investment coming coming to, to this area. That's basically what we need. Is that would probably speed things up. You know, although people people are building private properties, so it is more commercial in this industrial. People to invest in things like that sort of create jobs for the community. The people right today don't even know why we're here in the community. 
you know, you know, what are we doing here? I started the uh, the business here uh, to try to, to let people know that we are here, that we are trying to bring change to this area. We're trying to bring investment to this area. That's that's one of the reasons why I started uh, Azibo's Cuisine. You know, is to let them know that we we're here to uplift the community. You know, and the, one of the reasons why I'm doing the videos, you know, is to let people know that we are Pan African, and we're here to uh, uplift the community, to create jobs, and to create a different mindset for for Ghanaians in this area, and uh, to uh, uh, look forward to a brighter, better future. It's, you know. It, it can't always, it's not going to always be corruption and, uh, you know, no no change at all. You know, they're, they're used to, these people are used to not having change, used to being broke, used to being scraping and scraping for money, trying to feed their family. That's all they know, you know. So we, 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 want, we want these people to know that we, we symbolize change. That change is coming for the community, and that's the same way that um, brother, the guy that's running for president, you know, that's that's what he's talking. About. He's talking the same thing that that, uh, that uh, Black Star is saying, and, and that's the point that we're trying to get over to him. Is that we 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 are like we we like time that we want change. He's doing it on a higher level than we're doing. It, but but we're both doing the same thing. We just need support. We just need, uh, you know, uh, support to come to this uh, to this area. We just need help, you know. So, uh, if, if anybody else has anything to add to what I'm saying, feel free. Go ahead. Uh, I appreciate you, um, Zebo. Uh, so, family, uh, before we close, uh, anybody want to share any final words or want to just, um, just add in on what we talk about, uh, just, uh, please just uh, share your energy and then we'll work on another conference call and we'll just work on some updates in between that. And, um, and we can just always uh, keep in touch and then um, you can always uh, post some of those things that uh, we're talking about uh, on the group page. So anyone else have anything to share? Uh, if not, um, let me close and then um, I'll um, connect back with everybody on the uh, group page. A quick question. In terms of what was mentioned about the um, the brick making machine, what's the cost for something like that? Uh, they have the machine already, um, but I think it's just the other things that has to cost, like uh, labor for... Yeah, right. that. It's, the manual, it's the manual machine. It was, it was followed to me by my neighbor who stays next door. Incidentally, the neighbor um, moved next door to this here. Um, and, uh, he, he, he was, he, he was uh, serving in the military in, in the U.S., but he's a native Ghanaian. And uh, he, he was when he was in the U.S. He saw one of our videos, so Bomani's video. That, that's what encouraged him to move right next door. You know, it, it motivated him to move next door, and uh, he, he really been a big help to uh, to me and uh, to uh, you know to 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 my to my resident, you know. He's a very good brother. You know, he's a good man also. He's been communicating to me about what, how the man operates, how they He's been a real good help. He's been very, very helpful and inspirational. Well, he's different from the other yeah, as you know, your mic is uh, scratching a whole bunch of things in the back. But never mind. 
Uh, Azibo, go ahead and finish saying what you're saying. We should be yeah, I, I was just uh, saying that he, he's a good brother, and uh, he was in, he, he basically encouraging me to. Uh, uh, he's he's also buying land. He's but he's uh he has a uh, a catfish farm. Okay. To where he, he, he buying people are going out into the bush getting catfish. He has three catfish farms that he he's paid people to dig these these uh, ponds, and uh, he's filling. He, have water pumping, filling the water from the local lakes and uh, rivers and stuff. And uh, uh, I, I was explaining to him that uh, I can use some, I can use some of his catfish at my restaurant. I want to do, uh, I want to do curry catfish and uh, Joe Long rice. You know, I want to put together a grill. Do catfish, but uh, the brother is, is really uh, is really instrumental in as far as uh, in encouraging as far as the land is concerned. He's, he's buying land, and also I was trying to encourage him to buy some plots over and black stuff, you know. But uh, he's, he's he's doing a he's doing a lot. You know, as, he wanted to get into poultry farming. He's trying out catfish to see how that, that's going to work out. All right, uh, that's that's good. Um, well, uh, that's a good thing about it. Uh, since uh, we moved to the area, um, you've seen some of the growth, and uh, we have inspired other people to come. So, uh, hopefully, yeah, before um, that, um, you know, encourage uh, more and more people to come, and then uh, you know, like good neighbors, uh, we figure things out together and work uh together and uh, develop that uh, beautiful small town. Um, it's um still a great uh, future project. So, family, um, if anyone else want to share anything, uh, please unmute yourself. Uh, and Leonard, uh, do you want to share anything before we are uh, close? Let me get you unmuted. Uh, any words of encouragement you want to give? Um, all right, let me. You're not muted. Here we go. Uh, let us see if you can unmute, unmute yourself. Okay, it should be okay now. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, just want to share, see if you want to share any words of encouragement and things like that. Um, I know we're trying to work towards uh, getting things as done best as possible for the rainy season come because that's one of the things I always hear feedback on um, uh, the issues with the rainy season. We're trying to get uh, construction and things uh, done. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I mean, the way I look at it is if my wife and I can stay here and been here almost two and a half years now, and uh, so I know that the other people as they come, that they will be able to contribute and do a lot. Uh, we're not worried about the things that haven't been done yet because we know that it's going to happen. But what we've learned and people will learn as they come is things here just work a lot slower than the U.S., I mean, that's just the way it is. And that's you just great. have to deal with it the best way you can and not let it get you down and realize you're in a better place than you were in the States. And that's how we have to look at it day by day. Yeah. I right, well, appreciate the energy and the positive uh, energy. So family, it's uh, 2024, uh, January. So let's start the year off uh, fresh uh, with good energy. And then uh, let's uh, just keep working together and working on what we can do to make uh, things work and support um now, our people here it's, uh, building and developing. Uh, so if anybody else want to share anything, just please just unmute yourself and just uh, share what you want to share. Um, that way we can uh, close out and then we can just uh, pick it back up on the group page and then on another uh, conference call as we just try to keep a more active energy for uh, this year. All right, so appreciate everyone. Uh, everyone, thank you for joining um, our Black Star Pan African Community uh, Conference call. And uh, we'll keep um, everyone uh, posted. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, take care. Take it easy, brother. So long, everyone. Peace.